Yo, what is up, everybody? Um, this is episode three of So You Want to Play Competitive Fortnite. We're still not into the game stuff yet. We're going to be covering settings and just little stuff about Fortnite. So first things first, um, we're just going to talk about skins. Um, a lot of people like using girl skins, um, and they say the reason is that because girl skins have smaller hitboxes. You find a thin, oh, they're all thin, here, perfect. They think girl skins have smaller hitboxes, even though it might appear like that. Um, the hitboxes are all the same for all characters, but there is a small uh, increase. The smaller the character model appears, the better you can see. Just just maybe a little bit. For example, we grab Ragnarok here, and we crank him up all the way. His horns right here and his bulkiness makes it more a little bit more difficult to see just like around your surroundings. And then there are little competitive advantages. Uh, the superhero skin was patched, but... Some skins, especially ones that are newer released, are all the same color, and then that can kind of give you an advantage because it's harder, it's harder to see. So I don't think, do I have the Toy Soldier? Yeah, so when the Toy Soldier first released, it was all one color, and it made it really difficult to see him like running around and editing and stuff like that. Um, and when the superhero skins were released, you could make them all the same color. So if I wanted to make him white and then make this one white, you could, uh, I don't know if there's a... There's probably ways around it, but I mean, teach their own. But now, um, obviously, sometimes there's bugs with pickaxes. Where, where one of the pickaxes in here, I can't remember which one it was, could like pick. I think it was this one. Could pickaxe a little faster than the first one, or whatever. Um, personally, I think this is also a little un underrated tip here. If you grab a pickaxe, it makes a lot of sound. So let me grab this this bad boy here, the Reaper. And if you swing it, like this sound, very obnoxious. But it's also the same sound if you ever take your pickaxe out. So you're able to make it sound like you're, you know, breaking something, even though you're not, because you're just taking it out, and then fake somebody into editing and shooting. But that's a little bit more advanced. And I'll talk about baiting or pickaxe baiting and all the fun stuff later. Anyway, let's hop into the video or the settings. Yeah, what is the video? So first we have window mode. Uh, full screen is the best, 100%. You don't want to play on windowed, full screen, or windowed. If you're forced onto windowed, full screen, fucking Google it, because I don't know how to fix it. Um, if you get more than like, I don't know, 140 or 100, probably like 140 or 120 frames, then you want to stay on 1920 by 1080. Um, but if you get below, you can go to 1600 by 900 and then 1280 by 720. All this does is makes it more pixelated and gives you more FPS. For the frame rate limit, um, you don't want to set it on unlimited. Some people say to set it uh, one notch above your... Uh, monitor hertz so mine's 144 so 160 but i like to send it just a little bit higher i'm gonna go to 165 just because it's just a little bit higher and i feel like i have a little bit more breathing room uh the reason why you don't want to make it unlimited is unless you're you know you have fucking the nasa computer here uh the frame rate's gonna fluctuate heavily you know from the maximum which might be you know 300 and then your minimum which might be 140 or 120 or even in stack games go lower so you know you want a consistent frame rate so you can get used to the input delay you have so if i consistently can get 165 i want it there so i can get used and get muscle memory in into that like um input delay brightness uh personal preference turns whatever you want uh contrast you know whatever the, whatever you want to do i mean i don't know if there's a there's a plus or minus i think it just looks better or worse depending on what you like Colorblind mode, um, it no longer does anything in the storm, so don't bother if you want to use in the storm. I know uh, Booga uses D10 for some reason, so maybe it's the best for him, but I think this is all just personal preference again, because it doesn't give you really any, any advantage um, in the storm anymore. 3D resolution. So let's say you want to stay on 1920 by 1080 here. And, but it, you know, it's still a little laggy. You can drop this down a bit, but the more you drop down, the more pixelated. So let's go to 25. And I, it, this looks like uh, a convenience store video camera right now. And they're going to put this face on the news asking me if I know this man. So obviously, stand back up to 100. Pristine, looks very nice. Next, we're going to view distance. Um, people say it don't matter, like it doesn't matter, and near can be what you put it on. But I low key think that there is definitely a difference so i put it on medium um another good thing is this goes with textures as well you want to keep textures on either medium high or epic depending on your gpu because everyone knows fortnite is like 
like CPU hard. Like if you want to play Fortnite and stream it or record it, you need like a fucking godly CPU. That's just how it is. So what you're trying to do is put as much pressure off your CPU and onto your GPU as possible. So you can increase your view distance by doing this. You know, going to medium if you have you know slightly above, far if it's like you know way above GPU. Then epic if you have a fucking crazy ass shit. But I I keep in mind on far and then my textures are medium than high. That's just my personal preference. Um, all this shit's grayed out, but if it wasn't grayed out, you want this off, off, low, low, V-Sync off, show FPS on, motion blur off. I mean, it's, this, these are the competitive settings. Remember, if you're like, wait, what the hell? Everything's turned off. My game looks like shit. This is to give you the, much, the most FPS as possible, the lowest uh, input delay as possible. And yeah, so render in mode. You can go to uh, direct X11. Uh, D12, personally, I don't think there's a difference between these two. Uh, everyone's PC, or uh, there probably is a difference, but everyone's PC handles it different. Before performance mode, uh, D12 gave me the better frames, but a lot of people said D11 gave them the better frames. Again, I just think it's, you know, depends on your computer. So then you go to performance mode alpha. This makes your builds and stuff look a little different, and it basically gives you the max FPS out of all of them. And doing that, it grays out a lot of stuff. So you, you lose out on the, on boosts off. Performance mode is fire. It makes your builds look so better, in my opinion. So let's just load up creative here, and I'll show you what the builds look like. Hope I can fucking switch this skin quick. Perfect. Other than um, those settings in game, I'll show you some other ones which are just like auto open doors and other stuff like that that just gives you a little competitive boost. So if we look at the top right, I mean, I am fluctuating a bit because my PC is not fucking godly, but right now I'm like chilling at 165, which is mint. So let me show you something. So here's metal. It looks a little blurry, but I personally like how it looks more than the next thing I'm going to show you. Here's brick. You know, look through. That's pretty fire. Here's wood. And wood looks fucking clean in my opinion. Now if we go to settings and we go to textures and we slam that shit on low here's metal again you can see it through it a little bit more it doesn't look as blurry as it does over here so I definitely like this metal better than this one brick oh you guys didn't see that brick I find it looks honestly identical but wood yeah this shit looks like like piss like I don't like how I can still see the little white lines here while it's building while on the other one it was clear so personally I like it on high and this will actually give you more FPS and you see we don't see like the white like differences that this one has so next we'll be talking about uh, other settings so obviously matchmaking region put it on whatever you want uh, I somehow get lower pain in EU than I do NA West toggle sprint off sprint by default on this basically means that as soon as you walk, you know, step forward, you're going to start fucking hauling ass. That's what you want. Um, sprint cancels, reloading, off, auto open doors, on. You definitely want auto open doors on. I mean, think about, like, if you're tunneling. So let's say I'm tunneling, and I accidentally enter the door. Just autos opens like this. So it's good if you automatically make the mistake. But, um, I'll cover that in a different video. That's kind of too advanced. But, like, let's say, you know, you're tunneling, you don't have to stop out of the door and then, like, click your button to open it. It just fucking flies it open. Just if you make mistakes, it's really good. Now, let's fly back into it. Auto pick up weapons. Um, oh wait. Hold to swap pick up. I have it off. Toggle tar targeting off. Mark danger when targeting. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's if you if you're zoomed in and you ping it, it gives like a danger pin rather than like a like a normal one Auto pick up weapons. I have it on just because you know if my scroll wheel uh, Doesn't pick it up then I definitely want my auto pick up to pick it up auto sort consumables to the right personal preference But a lot of people have this on Reset building choice off disable pre-edit. I have it off but low-key if you get really good at like pre-editing that's wait I have it on, yes, that's it. 
So on disables it, off keeps it enable. Fucking confusing. But it, I think low key, if you get really good at um, pre editing and you keep it like you can use it to catch people off ground, maybe put it on, turbo button on, confirm edit on release, personal preference. I like it only because I have decently high ping. I mean, right now I'm at 25, which isn't high for people, but in game I get really high ping. So I like it because if you think about it, it's just another step I don't have to do. I don't have to click and then confirm. It just fucking does it when I let go. I think it's faster. The only issue is that it's all about timing. So if my ping is high, then if I want to reset and go back in between, I have to do it either 25, because my ping right now, is my, say my ping is 30. I have to do it 30 milliseconds or higher, because if I do it lower, then it won't work. So it's all about timing and getting the, the timing down right. But usually you can like, grasp the timing and it'll be muscle memory. A lot of people play it with uh, confirm edit still. Nick Savage still does. So, I mean, it's not something crazy. Uh, the rest of this shit, Nvidia highlights. If you want to um, have, so every time you kill somebody, it like saves it. Turn on record replays. If you want to go back in the replay mode, prefer light in. I mean, I, I don't think the rest of this shit matters. You can do what you want. HUD options. You can put your HUD, in, your op, your, like your HUD, on whatever. Like I have mine on 73. Show spectator count so you know when to take the L. Radical, obviously. Player health, yeah, like you want all this shit on. Uh, this is, you don't need that on. Elimination feed, definitely. Pick up loot stream, sure. Quest progress, um, doesn't matter. Ammo indicator, sure. Um, yeah, that doesn't matter. And then I think that might be it. Volume settings, you know, high. Off uh, visual sound effects, up to you. I like to have it on because it can show you like sharks and people healing and shit like that. But the only thing is that it doesn't tell you if it's like how far away it is. It just gives you the directional sound. So is it right in front of you, to the left, to the right, below? Or it doesn't tell you up and down. It just tells you like never eat shredded wheat. Um, and I think that is it. Yeah, I mean you can if you're if you're a famous streamer or whatever you can turn off. I don't know where the fuck it is. Oh, auto decline friend request because sometimes they're having max friends will lag you out and I cause you call it lose FPS in game. Um, other than that, there's a bunch of tweaks you can do outside of Fortnite, which I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers that just steal fucking tips and tricks from people and fucking upload it as my own because that's just not what I want to do. So I got all of my tips and tricks from this guy named Panj Panjno. Something like that. He uploads fucking Fortnite and basically all games, Warzone, League of Legends, shit like that. And uploads games fucking with FPS increases, decreased lag, GPU optimization, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to throw all those links in the description. I re recommend getting all of those done before you start playing a better than Fortnite. Just so you can have the maximum frames and uh, lowest input delay so you can start, you know, firing out your muscle memory. Yeah, so that's it. Um... Well, I guess I'll include this. You know, all these tips are really like what's best in general, but I mean, it's all personal preference, just like almost everything in Fortnite. If you do, if you want to have fucking try to know 10, then you know, slam that shit on. If you want to have um, turbo build off, you're a fucking psycho, but you know, turn it off. It's all personal preference, do with it what you want. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Episode 4, I have no idea what it's going to be. I'll have to check my schedule. But, yeah, that's everything. Peace.